Hello, welcome to the tutorial where I'll be sharing with you how you can do a fillable PDF. Now, um, for this software, it's called PDF Escape. I love this software. It's so easy to use. There's no installations, no downloads, and no other stuff that you need to do. All you need is your own PDF. Okay, so I'm going to use my Soul Rich Woman um, PDF as a example of how I made it into a clickable, fillable PDF within PDF Escape. So that's how you do it. So you start using unregistered. You don't really need to register because you just want to put in stuff, right? So upload PDF to PDF Escape. So once you click on it, choose a file. So I've already prepared my Soul Rich Woman PDF. So it's Soul Rich Woman PDF number one. Okay, and then upload this PDF okay, into PDF Escape. Once this is done, now notice there will be different, uh, bringing your attention to the left, there is different options av available, okay? The options are text, white out, image, freehand, link, and form field. Now, for this purpose of the PDF that I'm using for Soul Rich Woman, I will insert form field. Okay, so insert form field. Okay, and once you come here, okay, it says text, checkbox, radio, drop down list box. Now I would put text, okay, and then select. So once this is done, you can draw the box and then, um, then you can actually fill it up. I want to highlight one point using PDF Escape in this manner. Now, when you want to delete, you do wrongly. I want you to click on the delete button here and not press the escape button. Okay, so you come back, form field, select text, and then you can do it nicely. Okay, now this is done. And then we move on to the next one. Oh, you see, you accidentally click, no problem, just delete. And then you continue to draw your text box to the size and place you want it to be. And then you release it. Now, just want to take note regarding this text box. If you do it just as per normal, um, it will have only one liner. So the way to go around it is to right click, go to object properties. Now, I want you to go to multi-line. Go to multi-line, okay? And click OK. And then there goes the same for this one as well. Notice, not good. P press delete and then redo your box again. Okay, to the size you want. And then right click, go to object properties, go to multi-line and click OK. Now, you move down and then you check if there's any other places that you want to do it. Nope, it's done. Awesome. So what do you do from here? I want you to click Save. Go to the left, click Save Document. Once you click Save, I want you to hit the button, green button that says Save and Download. So once you do this button, now we come to the Soul Rich Woman document now. So you can scroll down. And notice I can key in words. So just fill in the blanks. You don't need to do the right click in the previous part that I've shown you. But notice this here. Insert text here. Insert text here. So this is good if you want to put in the forms where you want your customers to fill up like a questionnaire, you want customers to, or clients of yours to fill in their thoughts, you know, do their worksheets. I do a lot of this, right? Because I have a academy called You Are Possible Academy. So in my e-course essentials, Soul Rich Woman program, when they receive their PDFs, they get to key in all these things. 
Now when you're doing this, I highly recommend instead of Chrome sometimes, um, you may go crazy. So you may want to use Firefox instead. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial of using PDF Escape to do your fillable PDFs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.